Good Hello, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Welcome. So um, tonight you, we begin. Um, we continue. Excuse me, Professor. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I think we lost her. Yeah, I think we lost her. Anyway, so let me start by sharing. No, excuse me, Professor. I, I have a question. Um, the Excel tree is still not opening. Then secondly, for the test one, you said it will be available after December 27th. And today is December 29th. Nothing is coming up. Yeah, I was having the same problem with Excel yes, tree. Yes, me too. too. Um, the test is there actually in a in a is in a um Alex like the, like the same place you see the homework. That's where the test is located. Did you okay. check there? What? No, I've not checked there. What about the Excel tree? Excel, Excel. Is, is, it, is it both of them that are not showing? No, the three is not coming up. I sent you a mail this afternoon concerning it, and I I screenshot it to send what how, was how coming one, up. How about one and two? We did that. I've already yes, done yeah. that. One and three is not showing up because I have not uh, put it together yet. So I'll put them together. But you this said time. it will be due on December 2nd or 3rd. Are you sure? Let me yes. Look at, let me look at my announcement. Hey, can you take a look at mine? The test I Excel one. The announcement was uh, for the Excel. I received um, two and three, but not one. This is excess, I mean, no one, one three is due on Sunday. Yes, January 2nd, yes, yeah. and that's next week. So you said that the two, three is not opening, or two is opening? It's not, the two is opening, but the three is not opening. Let me, let me look at it again. You can see the screen, right? Yes. OK, homework, assignments, Wait a yes. assignments. Okay, it's already assignment. open. Yes. So, um, I told you two days ago. Huh? I told you two days ago it's not opening, and you said it's open, and it's not open. Number two. Yeah, number, number three. three. But let me see why. It should be. I updated it. Uh, I updated both of them. It's, the two was opening right from onset, but the three wasn't opening at all. Yes. Yeah, I made it. Uh, I made it. Uh, change it to January third. I don't know why it's not open. Can you try it again now? Okay. So, so some have some, some have submitted. So students have already submitted homework on this assignment. So on three. On the on the Excel tree, yeah, yeah that's what I have here on this. You can see it on the screen here, but check it. Yes, now. it's still the same thing. It's saying the document preview is currently being processed. Please try again later. Yes, that's what it's saying on my end too. Okay, let me. Um, In my end too. Give me one minute. Let me see what. Let me uh, put it. And see what happens. I, I will look at it again. I can I won't do it now. I will look at it again after class. Then I put it in. Yeah, you check it then, again. Let me know tomorrow. Okay, yeah? okay, okay, sir. Okay. Then the test to the test. You need to help us to the make some adjustments. It's, not, it's go, not coming up. If you, if you go to um Alex, you got, if you click here, see the clear. Okay. Alex, then go to Alex, it's there. I don't know how Alex show your ends. The same place you see your homework, that's why you see the test. Okay, Alex, then the test, Alex, okay. is the test timed? Yes, it's timed, of course, it's a test. <laughs> so you go on assignments, and um, the same place you see your homework, just that's where you're gonna do it, you look at it. See, the test is there already, and it's Okay, open. okay, thank you. Okay. All right, let's start. Um, now let's finish this, what we were doing yesterday, and then move. Uh, we, yesterday, we stopped at conditional probability. 
conditional probability is a, a measure of probability that uh, an event will occur given that another event have already occurred. But what event will occur given that another one have already occurred? For example, uh, having good grades have occurred, then getting a scholarship. See, the condition that you have good, uh, you get a scholarship is that you have good grades. Another one is um, having a degree and getting a good job. You know, having a degree is the first condition have already occurred. But even then, getting a good job. So that is, uh, um, as a matter of fact, a lot of things, many things, most things we do in life are conditional. Uh, whether we whether we we'll deny it or not, uh, even this even the so called love is conditional too. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> anyway, I think you get the point. Now, the probability. This is the formula for the conditional probability. Probability of event A occurring, given that event B have already occurred, is probability of A and B divided by probability of B. So um, that's the formula for it, uh, for conditional probability. Let us use the formula to solve this question. Let me show you how it is used. Um, it says the test result uh, for marijuana use is shown in the table below. Uh, the question was asked, does the subject use marijuana? You have the answer yes and no, you know. So it says, choose one subject at random. Find the following probabilities. The subject tested positive, given that he or she actually uses marijuana. The subject uses marijuana, given that he or she tested positive. Uh, the subject tested negative, given that he or she uses marijuana. So before we can answer this question, we need to find the totals like, uh, we know you have the, the type of questions that are involved in this form. It's always important to find the total first. So let us find the total for this total. Uh, total. So for this one, total, you're going to add this two, and then you need another total. So let me put it this. Okay. okay from here. Okay, my mistake. Go from here. Okay, so I have two totals. So total here, I'm gonna move this a little bit. Okay, total. So you add all this, add these two to get this one, add these two to get this one, then add it, uh, these two to get as two. So I've done it here already. And I have my totals here. For the first one is 122. For the second one, I got 178. And for these two, here yeah, I got um, 143. Uh, and I got um, 157. So if you add this to now, so I got um, so I have a lot of pages. So I got one for the three uh, plus one fifty seven with three hundred. That means uh, in that section, <clears throat> I put three hundred here. So when you add these two, you also you also get 300. You can confirm it up on your end. With this done, you are ready to answer the questions. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit uh, so that we can have enough room for it. Oh, we, we do have enough. Room. So let me move it down. Okay. One thing about conditional probability is it have this symbol here, give slash, forward slash. This forward slash means uh, given. That's how you know that it's a conditional. Once you see given in that question, that tells you that it is a conditional probability and that you're gonna use this formula. So now here it says, 
choose one subject at random, find the following probabilities that the subject is positive given. You can see the given right here. Given that he or she uses marijuana. So um, solutions. Um, yeah, A parts. Let's say that um, you use M for marijuana. Okay, equals M and P for uh, positive is P is E and uh, you know negative equals N. So uh, this part, the first part say the subject uses uh, tested positive given that he or she is marijuana. So you're gonna be in this form, probability of uh, positive. If, if you remember the uh, formula, it says here, A given B, equals the probability of A and B, divided by the probability of B. B is the condition, B, the condition come after the forward slash. Okay. So positive, given that, uh, put, tested uh, positive, right? Given that it is marijuana, will be equals probability of positive. And uh, usually I use number of points, you know, to get it. A uh, number of points in positive and, and marijuana. Okay. Divided by a uh, number of points in marijuana. This is just like same probability of marijuana. Um, because that is the condition here, M, which means now P and M as a positive marijuana is presented by this is the positive, positive results. And does he use marijuana? So yes, positive result and yes, marijuana is right here. This is the, this presents positive results and also uses marijuana. So 119, which is 119, Divided by um, number of points in marijuana. For marijuana, you say it um, uh, uses marijuana. It's 122. It's like 122. So, total, does he use his marijuana? M is yes. So, to, total for marijuana is 122. So, you got 122. And that gives you the answer 119 divided by 122. Okay. 0.975. 0.975. 0.975. Or you can say that there is 97.5 percent chance that the person testing positive are uses marijuana. Okay. Uh, that answer part A. But B says uh, the subject uses marijuana given that she or she tested positive. So in this case, we have probability of that he uses uh, marijuana given that he or she tested positive. In that case, we have this time here, the, the conditions here change. See, they switch the condition to P. So you have number of points, I can, I can call it probability of uh, a number of points in marijuana and positive, and positive divided by number of points in positive. This time is positive. So the condition change, which means uh, marijuana and positive. This side is for marijuana, don't see is marijuana, yes. And positive result is still 119, uh, 119. Now the condition is over positive. So these are the, all the positive results, and it's one for the three. A one for the three. And that gives you 119 divided by one for the three. Okay. 119. 119 divided by one for the three. Uh, point eight. 
0.832. Or you can call it 83.2%. That the, that the subject uses marijuana and then tested positive. Okay. And let's at C it says the subject tested negative, given that she or she uses marijuana. So we are talking about probability of negative, given that he or she uses marijuana. Maybe a number of points, or you can see probability of uh, negative result and marijuana use divided by. Now the condition is here, marijuana use. Uh, probability or number of points in marijuana use. And that gives you negative and marijuana use. You can see negative does the this is negative result right here. And marijuana use. Does he or she use marijuana? So this is negative result. Yes, for marijuana. So this is present the person testing negative even though she uses marijuana. You know, we have first negatives, yeah? So it is possible. Um, so we have three, yeah? Out of, uh, divided by, my, by marijuana use, which is 122, uh, 122. That gives you three over 122. Um, three for 122. Three by one twenty two point zero two five uh, point zero two five. Or you can call it uh, a two point five percent chance of getting a false uh, negative. But you use marginal and test negative. Questions? Any question? Yeah, I had a question. I was a little confused. The one it says yes and no. What is the no for then? If we, because see how it says results positive, yes, and results, what is that positive? No, 24 was not positive. Well, does the, the subject uses marijuana? Yes, for marijuana. Okay. Uh, no, no, for not using marijuana. Okay. Yeah, then we have positive and negative results. Yeah. Okay. Well, excuse me, Professor. Can you please go back up? When you were trying to calculate uh, the point number two, you said positive results, and you went to 143. How about the 24? Is it not affected? Is it not affecting the results since we have an it is under no? Well, this, uh, this is for yes and no. Now, we are looking for such a using marijuana given that he or she tested positive. So this is using marijuana. Uh, the formula becomes um, marijuana use and positive. See, marijuana use, yes, and positive, positive result. This is it over all the totals for positive and negative results. Okay. Because the condition is right there over positive, see, number of positive results. That's why we use all the total for both negative and positive. Just okay. like you, if you go, if you go to a school, if you want to check the percentage of girls in the school in the high school, you check calculate calc, count all the girls and divide it by total the total the total number of students, including boys and girls in that school. That's how you get the percentage of girls. You know something like that. Okay. Any other question? All right. Excellent. Now, sometimes we, we, we come across what you call probability of at least probability. For this kind of probability, is best thing to do is to get the opposite. It's faster that way. And then once you get the opposite, you can now uh, uh, get the required probability by subtracting from one. So we call it at least probability. It says, if you say at least one, we use the complement rule. Uh, so look at this one, it says, so we're gonna using this rule, probability of at least one, probability of at least one, uh, let's say it's um, E equals, excuse me, 
e equals one minus probability of e complements. So we use that formula for finding at least probabilities. Whenever they say at least one, you use it. For example, it says a game is played by drawing four cards for an ordinary deck and replacing each card after it's after it is drawn. Find the probability of winning if at least one ace is drawn. Now, so um, to answer this kind of question, I'd like to uh, get a card put here for us. Let me copy it and paste it there. Uh, okay. That you can get at least probability. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, that's where you are. Solution. So I'm gonna paste it here. Now, so like, like I said, you say find the product of winning if at least one ace is there. So to win means that at least, uh, uh, at least getting at least one ace, getting one ace, okay? Uh, so um, it says, find the product of winning if at least one ace. So find the product of no ace, That's of not winning. Oh, in that case, uh, yeah, let's say that, okay, let me put it this way. You can see our is right here. See, you can see our is. Now, um, so also look, look at the is here, my mistake, look at the is here. So you say, find the product of winning if at least one is is drawn. Okay, let's find the product, uh, let's A, uh, complement, A complement, of course, A represent S means no S is drawn because it says find the probability of winning if at least one S is drawn. So that means if you don't get an S, you didn't win. So no S is drawn. So get that opposite first that you didn't win. No S is drawn, and A becomes list. One is okay, strong. Okay, strong. Now, so that we're gonna use probability of at least one is strong. I'm gonna use one minus probability of no is is strong. Okay, now, so this is the at least one that we're talking about. See at least one. Now, let us um, simplify this. Uh, how many aces do we have? Four aces, four. right? Out of 52 cards. So no ace is drawn with B, B, B. Uh, probability that that's no ace, that means A complement, that's no ace is drawn. Maybe if you remove four aces, how many cards is left? Let me see. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. 48. Yeah, so good. Excellent. 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 So let's go back then. Excellent. So that give us uh excuse me. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Okay. So that means uh 48. Mm -hmm. Uh that would be uh 48 out of 52 cards. Am I right? Am I right? Or wrong? Right. What it says here, a game is played by drawing four cards, right? Out mm -hmm. of the ordinary deck. So it was drawn four times. You draw the first time, draw the second card. So it was drawn four times. I mean, four. So the chance that no ace is drawn, I mean, that doesn't include aces, 48 out of 52. And it's drawn four times to raise to the power of four. I can say, um, 48 uh, over 52 times 48 over 52 times 48 over 52. So that will give you the chance that no ace is strong. So now figuring this out from the uh, calculator, 48 over 52, um, 48 over 52 so, excuse me, uh, squared. Let me close it for properly squared. 
0.852. So 0.852. Did I square it right? No. no. I was there because you got four here, but you only had two on the the um yeah, to, to the power four. I mean to say a mistake. <laughs> Let's to the power four, a mistake. Uh because -huh. it was drawn four times. Mm -hmm. Raised to the power four. 0.726. So it's 0 0.726. So we got the opposite. The question was, what is the probability of winning if at least one ace is drawn? So you tell you get the opposite that no ace is drawn. Then the at least one ace is drawn now becomes this one. Uh probability of a. So probability of at least one ace now becomes this. This formula. I mean, so one minus probability of no ace, which means one minus 0.726. Bring the phone, who is calling it? Oh, what's that? Please, please uh, mute, mute yourself, okay? So one minus that, that will give us at least one ace strong. So one minus, um, okay, one minus, uh, point seven two six point two seven four. Zero point two seven four. So the key here is this: find the opposite, then subtract the answer from from one, and you get the at least probability. Okay. Question. Any question on this? Yes. Yeah, so once you find that, once you do the calculation and you get the um, 0 0.726, we just have to subtract one from that? Yes, you get at least one. OK, all right. Yeah, so practically, yeah, so practically your answer from one, you get it at least. OK, now let me show you another example. Look at this example here. It says, uh, Net Queer Association of America reported that three percent of ties sued in the United States are bow ties. If four customers who purchase a tie are randomly selected, find the uh, probability that at least one, uh, at least one purchase a bow tie. Yeah. First of all, you find the opposite that no bow tie is purchased. Let's say uh, B complement means. Uh, uh, say if a customer purchase a tie at random, purchase four ties, find the probability that at least one bow tie is for two, no bow tie, okay? No bow tie is purchased, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna make it a complement. So the other one becomes at least one bow tie, at least one purchase a bow tie. Then B, at least one bow tie is purchased. So now let's get the say he said that next peer association people that three percent of ties sold in the United States are bow ties. So let's get this this one first. B complement, no bow tie. If 3% we are both ties, how many are, how many are not both tie? So you got to do 100 percent minus 3 percent, which gives us 97 percent, which when you change the decimal, you get 0 0.97. 97. Oh, excuse me. 97. Now, because there are four of them. Because for, for this particular question, there are four, four of them. That means you're going to raise this to the power of four. You have 10 minutes left now. Raise this to the power of four. Raise it to the power of four. If there are five of them, you raise it to the power of five. Okay? I can check it. Let me change it to five customers. So I'm going to raise it to the power of five. Okay? So that we have this. Uh, 
Okay, 0.97, that will give us the probability that no bow ties was purchased. Okay, <clears throat> so, um, 0.97 to the power of five. Uh, 0.97, uh, 0 0.97 raised to the power of five is, oh, excuse me, uh, raised to the power of five. Um, raised to the power of five is 0.859. 2.859. Now you got the probability that no bow tie was purchased. But your answer, your answer is to find the probability that at least one bow tie. So that the probability of probability of at least one bow tie, which is this one here, B, probability of B. See, this is I should put P here, P, B, C. Okay, so probability of B will become equals one minus probability of B complement. That is the, that no bow tie was purchased. It should give us the answer we need. So that will give us equals uh, one minus uh, 0 0.859. And that will give us the result, okay? Point eight five nine. Okay, I will have uh, one hundred point eight five nine. Okay, yeah, one minus point eight fifty nine equals point one four one. Uh, zero point one four one. Zero point one four one. Or you can have say you have for 10.1% chance that at least one 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 one, one purchase a bow tie. Question on that. Okay, so no question. That's excellent. Now um so now uh we'll be looking at we have only a uh, five, five, six minutes left. So we'll be looking at, um, we'll, we'll, we'll be time, time that very soon and we'll come back. We'll be looking at uh, counting rules, or counting rules. Uh, counting, let, me, let me just briefly explain them, counting rules. Excuse me, can you scroll to the question, Hope? Okay, which are the question? The last one? The one we just did, yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to take note of something. Thank you. You're welcome. Looking at uh, first one would be uh, the fundamental counting rule. Fundamental counting rule. Commutation uh, and then combinations. So that's what we'll be looking at when we come back um, after uh, we are timed out. Before then, any question for me, please ask. Any question for me, guys? No. Excellent. So, so, but so, so I'm going to time us out so we can save this time and come back. Please log back in after 10 minutes, OK? OK. See, OK. See, 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 OK. Thank you. 